All right, Ledesma, here we are, and we're going to talk about the basics of area and perimeter, right? The basics of area and perimeter. So before we do any more, we're going to let's start out and we will talk about perimeter. OK, let's get some basic definitions. The distance around the outside of a shape. Add up all of the side lengths. The perimeter of a rectangle can be found with this formula. Perimeter equals two times the length plus two times the width. Now, you could find it that way, or you can actually just add up all of the side lengths. Add them all together, and you will get the perimeter that way as well. Now, you will think to yourself, can't I figure out the perimeter of other things besides rectangles that way? And the answer is yes. Anything with straight side lengths, all you have to do is add every side and you will eventually get to the perimeter of it. So it works for triangles or uh, quadrilaterals, pentagons, uh, hexagons, octagons, and so forth, right? So that's the idea with perimeter. Um, and this will be the formula you can use to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Now there's the area. Now literally the area is the amount of space inside of a polygon, right? And a polygon is any straight-sided shape. Uh, area is measured in square units. How many squares does a shape hold, right? Area is two-dimensional, okay? Two-dimensional, a flat surface. The area of a rectangle can be found with this formula. Area equals length times width. And what you're literally measuring in uh, when you're measuring area or multiplying to find area is you're measuring how many squares fit inside of a shape, right? So how many squares fit in there if you count them all? And so that's what area is. So perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape if you add all of the sides together, just like that. And area is the inside of a shape. If you add all of the squares it would take to fill up that shape. How many are there and how many would it take? Okay, so now it is very important to figure out and use the correct unit of measurement when you're doing um, area and perimeter. So perimeter will be measured in regular units because it's a measurement of distance and area will be measured in square units because it's how many squares take something up. So it's square units for area. Okay, so let's figure out our very first example right here. And here it is. Okay, so taking a look, um, we have this example right here. Okay, so you can see here that this rectangle is two units across and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units going down. So if we were to figure out the perimeter of this rectangle, it would be double the length, so two times the length, right? So that's two times seven plus. And we'll put that in parentheses to show that we'll do that multiplication first. Plus, okay, double the width. Well, this is two wide, one, two, one, two. So it would be two times two for the width, right? Because we will double it, right? And we'll put that in parentheses to show it as well. Two times seven is 14, okay? And you can add that to two times two, which is four. And you will get your perimeter of this shape, which is 18 units. And that is the important part to remember. You have to write down the unit of measurement. This one is not defined, so we're just using the word units. It is 18 units around. And if you add it all aside, you would get seven plus two, which is nine, plus seven, which is 16, plus two more, and you get 18 units. So that's the other way you can do it if you can't remember this formula. Now there's the area of this one. Now you could actually get the area by adding all of the squares in this rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. But a faster way to do it is to use our friend multiplication. So the area equals the length times the width. So the area equals the length is seven, and the width of this one is two. So the area is seven times two, which happens in this case to be 14. Well, actually seven times two is always 14, but we have to now use the unit, and it is how many squares are in here. So it is in square, right, square units, okay? And you will sometimes 
here people refer to it as units squared instead. So it could be square units or units squared, but the answer is 14 square units for this particular rectangle. All right, so there's our first two examples. Let's go check out another one. Okay, so here we are. Now this time, uh, I did not draw the boxes in here, so you're not going to be able to count them that way, but you are going to be able to figure out the perimeter and the area of this top rectangle up here. So let's start with the perimeter. Okay, so now a couple ways to do it. You could add up all the sides, so you have to remember the sides will match on a rectangle. So if this one is eight centimeters, so is that. And if this one is three centimeters, so is this over here, right? And so you could add up all four sides. That's one way to solve for a perimeter, okay? So I could say, okay, eight plus three plus eight plus three. And if I do that, okay, if I do that, I get 11, 19, 22, right? So eight plus three is 11 plus eight, 19 plus three more, 22. And this time I have a defined unit. I know what it is, it is centimeters. So I'm going to write down the unit of measurement, and it is important to include the unit of measurement so that you do not get lost or confused. Because if you say centimeters, that's very different than if it was meters or if it was kilometers, right? Those are all very different units of measurement. Okay, so that's our perimeter, and we could have also gotten that by doubling the length and doubling the width. So we could have gone 2 times 8, which is 16, and 2 times 3 right, which is six, add 16 plus six, and you get 22 centimeters. So again, that's the perimeter. Now we're gonna go over here. I will, um, we will start, I'll switch my color so I can work on area. And you have to remember that area equals the length times the width, right? Now, okay, so that is eight times three. So if that's the case, we're gonna say eight times three, which equals 24, and it is going to be centimeters squared. This little two up here means squared, right? It's an exponent that comes after the centimeters, and it stands for squared. So it is 24 centimeters squared. You could also write it out, right? 24, right, square centimeters. So both of those answers are correct for the area of this rectangle. Okay, so let's go take a look at our square down here. We actually have a square. Okay, so this one, now you can tell it's a square because it has all these little hash marks which show that they are the sides are congruent. Okay, and it is six inches by six inches, right, which means that all four sides are going to be six inches. So one way to think about a square that you can do is you can literally you have to add all of the sides. So you could say six plus six plus six plus six, or you could remember that a square is a type of a rectangle and you could double the length and double the width, right? So two times six plus two times six, or you could realize that a square is literally, all four sides have to be congruent, right? They have to be the same length. So you could literally say six times four for a square, right? Take whatever the side length is, which is six in this case, and multiply it by four because you're adding them all together. And if that is the case, for your perimeter, you get 24. And this time the unit is inches. So it is 24 inches. That is the perimeter of that square. Okay, now we're going to go do the area of the square. Okay, so the area is still the length times the width, but because it's a square, sometimes people refer to it as a side times a side, right? Either way that you think of it, it doesn't matter. Okay, because it's going to be length times width or side times side. So in this case, it is going to be six times six. And if you do that, you will get 36. But here's the thing. It's not 36 inches because when you are measuring um, area, you are measuring how many little one by one squares will fit in here if you were to draw them all in. Right. So it is 36 square inches. Right. It's 36 square inches. Inches and that is your area, 
Okay, 36 square inches. All right, we're going to do one more example. This one's going to be a little bit more complex. Here we're asked to do two things. You are to find the width and you are to find the perimeter. Okay, so if we, what we will have to do here is find the width first in order to find the perimeter. So take a look. We're going to use what we know about area in order to find the width. We know what the length is. It is 9 meters. We were given the area. It's right here in the middle, 36 meters squared, right? We can tell it's the area because it says meters squared. This little 2 means squared, right? Meters squared. So this is the area, 36 meters squared. Um, the length is 9 meters. We don't know what the width is. So we're going to use our formula for area. Area equals, once again, the length times the width. Only now we're going to work backwards, all right? So our area was 36, which equals 9 times, and we don't know what the width is, so we're going to keep the W in there as a variable. Uh, we're going to try to figure out what that W equals, right? Okay, now we can do it a couple of ways. We can do um, know our math facts, right, and say, okay, well, what times 9 equals 36? Well, the answer is 4 if we know our math facts. Or we can think of it as a division problem now, and we can just do the opposite, and 36 divided by 9 will give us the width, right? And you can see, remember that multiplication and division are opposites. So if 9 times something is 36, then 36 times 9 will give us something, and we now know that the width equals 4 meters. Okay, now notice this is not meters squared because the width is a is a distance, right? It's not the area. The area is the only thing that is meters squared, not the width, not the length, not the perimeter. Okay, so width equals 4 meters. So we now know that this is 4 meters. Okay, and now we can actually find our perimeter. So this will also be 9 meters, and this here will also be 4 meters, okay? Because we can now use this information that we just figured out by knowing the formula for area to now find the perimeter, which is what we are going to do next. Okay, so we have to remember that in order to find the perimeter, you're going to add up all of the side lengths, or we're going to perimeter equals, equals double the length, so two times the length plus two times the width, right? Okay, we're going to double the length and double the width. Well, the length is nine, and here's the other nine, so we double it, right? So we're going to say, okay, two times nine, and I'll put that in parentheses to show we do it first. And then you're going to do the width, right? So here's a four, and here's another four, so we double it. Two uh, times four. Right, and then we are going to add those two uh, products together. Right, so your perimeter equals 18 plus 8, and your perimeter equals once you add that, you get 26. But you got to include the unit of measurement, so it is 26 meters. Right, remember it is just plain meters because it is the perimeter. The only time you use a unit squared is if you're doing the area. So our answer here is 26 meters. Now, I could have also gotten that same answer by adding up every single side, right? 9 plus 9 plus 4 plus 4. But I want you to look here. I could do it that way, but that's the same thing. 2 times 9 is the same as 9 plus 9. 2 times 4 is the same as 4 plus 4. So that's the same thing. Um, very good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you continue to practice and learn lots more about area and perimeter. It's a very important concept, and you get better at math with practice. Have a great day.